Good morning, this is Teacher Felisa. Welcome to our third week of our online discussion. Materials needed for these discussions, your book, your pen, and your notebook. Today, we are to tackle three poems. First, the mountain sat upon the plain, clambering up the cold mountain, and Zazen on Chengting Mountain. You can see this on your student anthology book on pages 318 to 322. Our objectives, recognize poetry from a variety of cultures, languages, and historic periods, and appreciate poetry as a literary art form. Before going through these three poems, let's first discuss one of the poets, Emily Dickinson. Who is Emily Dickinson? She was born on December 10, 1830 in the town of Amherst, Massachusetts. As a young child, Emily was a great and happy student. She showed sharp intelligence and was able to create many original writings of rhyming stories impressing her classmates. Emily's father was strict to bring up his children in proper way. Next poet is Han Shen. Who is Han Shen? He is a Chinese poet who usually wrote his poems on rocks, trees, and walls. And last poet is Li Po also known as Li Bai. He wrote occasional verse and poems about his own life, and he left his home to travel and write. His poetry is known for its clear imagery and conversational tone. All right, this is the first poem entitled, The Mountain Sat Upon the Plain. So please read with me. The mountain sat upon the plain, in his eternal chair, his observation omnifold, his inquest everywhere. The seasons prayed around his knees, like children playing a sire. Grandfather of the days is he, of Don the ancestor. In this poem, it talks about everlasting search, death, consecutive time, it means the seasons, and realizing its age. Now, these are the four different images you can see in the poem, okay? Here is the grandfather and the granddaughter. Here is the mountain and the death. There are three poetic devices used in the poem, your personification, simile, and imagery. Now here are the other two poems written by Li Po and Han Shan. You can pause this video and take time to read it. Same as the first poem, the theme of these two poems is all about nature, particularly mountain. And there are also poetic devices that are being used in these poems. Your personification, simile, and imagery. So those are the three poems we have today. You can now open your alpha accounts and check on the activities I've sent you. Thank you.